Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. What's up? You doing good? Doing fine. Doing fine, huh? All right. Yep, doing well. Doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Another week. Another week. And uh, anything big going on this week we want to keep an eye on? We got spring football. Friday spring night. football Friday night. Looking forward to that. Okay. JC Stadium, 730. A lot of meetings this week. Got, city's got a meeting today. School board's got a meeting tomorrow. So a lot going on. Okay. Well, we've got guests in here this morning. Here on the world famous Butch and Bob Show from Wayne Christian Academy, and good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. You got Sherry, Sherry Bowen. How you doing? I'm doing great. All right, y'all. We requested to come on the Butch and Bob Show, and glad to have you on here. <laughs> um, Wayne Christian Academy, of course, is very close to my heart. I got four kids going there. August, I'll have five <laughs> grandkids. <laughs> That's not right, kids, grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, so y'all have got so much going on at Wayne Christ Academy. I've just seen it, you know, from the time that Maddox was in kindergarten all the way now. He's in fixing to get out of ninth grade, and the other uh, brothers coming there through the years. Y'all have grown quite a bit, and you've got even more exciting items coming up for Wayne Christ Academy. And what are they? Yes, we do. Um, we have next year, we will hit a really big milestone for Wayne Christian Academy. We will graduate our first class. And so we will be able to say that we have started a class and completed a, um, an entire um, graduating class as of next May 24th. Actually, that date is set already. Um, so that's pretty exciting. There's just a few in that class that started with us back in August of 2012. So that will be pretty um pretty exciting sentimental for us to see these children come in in kindergarten and then graduate as well from us right so well, that's good. that's pretty exciting um we are planning already senior activity plans has the, that started last week and so um we've got parents uh kind of behind the scenes putting together all those activities so it's so it's an exciting year for our seniors as well. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, over the past year, this, well, this past year, we ventured out um, into the dual enrollment opportunity, which I know that's very common with um, Wayne County Schools. But our students participated in that as well. Um, we had students participating in dual enrollment from Coastal Pines, Point University, and the College of Coastal Georgia. Um, it was very successful. It was a new thing for our students, um, but they all have done, I mean, they've just done so well. We're very proud of them, and so they are already geared up and ready for the classes and registered to take for next semester. Now, is that for uh, junior sophomores? How does, um, how does that work for dual enrollment? Right. Yes, primarily for juniors and seniors, um, but this year, this past semester, we had, actually, we had two sophomores um, that they felt they were ready to participate and jump in and they did and so I think that has um, kind of motivated some of the other upcoming sophomores for next year that they want to go ahead and get involved as well and get ahead and take these classes and I think just set themselves up you know to be successful for college right I agree I think dual enrollment is great it's in the public school and Wayne County High School and now at Wayne Christian Academy where the kids can uh, take uh, high school okay take uh, uh, classes there mm-hmm. at the school and mm-hmm. then at college Yes, and it, it's been neat to see the students um, take on that responsibility from, you know, leaving campus, coming to and from, um, and they've, they've been very responsible doing it. They've done very well in their classes, and so that's been another part of us seeing um, our program grow and expand. It's when you step out and do these type of programs that you see, okay, with what we're doing, you know, is it, are we being successful? And so this was... Um, it was really good for us on the admin side to see that see our students do so well. Okay. All right. What else is going on with Wayne Christian Academy, Sherry? All right. Well, I'm going to let Miss Rebecca talk about this for a minute, but we've also, um, we will incorporate a new program um, next year called Seven Star Academy, and that's going to open the doors for a lot more electives. Um, with a school our size, it's often um, difficult to find teachers to teach numerous elective classes um, because 
all the students are interested in so many different things. And so this, I believe, is going to be a great opportunity. It is accredited. Um, we have checked out, done all of our research there. And um, so it's going to offer a lot of different um, doors, open doors for us. Okay, Rebecca? Uh, so the Seven Star program is uh, something that a lot of established Christian schools, private schools use. Um, they've been around for a long time. They are accredited by ACSI, and this is one of our ways of um, helping our high schoolers branch out into pursuing their talents and strengths and finding out, you know, what it is that they want to uh, pursue as a degree in college or their interest. Um, they have over 200 courses. There's honors courses, AP courses, dual enrollment courses, um, or just regular courses. Um, and so what our students, one of the things we're really excited about is we will start using this program in ninth grade uh, next year. And so there is everything from forensic science to multiple foreign languages. There's journalism, uh, theater, personal finance. The list goes on and on. And all of those courses are biblically integrated as well. So it's been a great way to stick with our mission and make sure that we um, are still pursuing what we're there to do. Uh, and one of the things that we really like is the classes are online. And so the students will have a certified online teacher. However, they will also have one of our teachers physically there with them in the class with access to the course content. So even in high school, we're able to stick to that small student teacher ratio. Um, and that's really great for a freshman or a sophomore who is kind of prepping prepping to take dual enrollment courses. That's a big transition for a student who's had an in-person teacher to take something online. So that's really great for those students. And we all know today most textbooks are electronic and you, there's so many classes you can take online now. So that's a good way to ease that transition. Um, and even up until senior, our senior class, they have the opportunity to have the certified teacher online as well as um they are assigned to someone at the school and a certified adult teacher there who will help them kind of navigate uh, through that course, communicate with parents, communicate with the teachers at uh, Seven Star. Micah Brockington, who also helps out the students at Wayne County High School as a college advisor there, has been so wonderful. She's partnered with us the last year uh, and I was really impressed with this academy too and it's helping us enroll students in what they're interested in and so that was a really big uh, door for us to open up an avenue of interest for our students good yes and i don't think because i don't think we've been on here since but this past year we finally uh, made it to the final step of our accreditation through um with the school and we are now completely and officially um grades kindergarten um, and then up through, as we expand through 12th grade next year, we'll be accredited through ACSI as well as Cognia. So we were able to um, receive dual accreditation for our program. So. That's great. That's open up a lot of yep. doors, too. That kind of leads us into the next thing with electives. Now that we have that official dual accreditation, there's a lot more opportunities come up with our fine arts program for um, competitions and, and partnering with different schools and learning from them. And I know you mentioned earlier before the show started, one of the big things that we've been able to do in our fine arts department this year is we did a very big musical production which was a big deal for a school our size. Um, and your grandson was the lead mm -hmm. character, the did lead an character. amazing job. And Mason, the second grandson, helped with all the production and the lots. And um, and just don't forget Maxton. And Maxton <laughs> was in stage crew. Yes. Like he bossed everybody around back there in true I'm Maxton sure fashion. And um, he was, he's in, what, fifth grade? And so there were two... Uh, there was a 10th grader and 11th grade back there helping with the stage crew and you could tell he was the one in charge. There was no <laughs> doubt about that. So they listened to him. But he did a great job. Um, so it's just, it's been really neat and Maddox is a perfect example of um, a child who not the boldest mm -hmm. most outspoken child that started with us and he has just oh my gosh, it's just crazy to see him now. And it's really cool because Maddox and well, it seems like all the all the great children are involved in so many things, but Mason and Maddox are both able to pursue both the sports side of things and the fine art side of things. And that can get hectic, but we want to be able to still to, to tailor to all those interests as yeah. we grow and not be, you know, a school that just focuses on just one thing. So that's, mm -hmm. yeah. that's right. I mean, when we talk about our program, our, our academics, um, 
with the biblical integration, that is the most important. And that is not something that we um, ever want to veer away from. But the sports and the fine arts, all of those are the ands to the program. Right. And we think it just um, adds to the all-around development, um, overall development of the student. And so um, this past year in sports, we – we we didn't know at one point if we had uh, bit off more than what we could chew, but we were able to add a few teams last year or this past year. We um, added volleyball for girls. Um, we did middle school basketball, which was um, very successful. The volley girls volleyball they were their season was very successful, especially for their first year. The boys. Um, middle school basketball actually took the state um, title, and um, they did. They, yes, they did good. They did. They were undefeated through the season and won state. So they are um, all already geared up, ready to come back, and they think take it again next year. We hope. Um, but one big addition in sports for next year. Um, also, we did add golf this past year as well. Um, is we will add varsity sports and that's been something that we've kind of been slow at doing obviously because of the youth of our school and so um it's taken time for for us to expand in the upper grades for us to have enough students um we've partnered with schools through the last over the last few years um to be able to have a team but next year we will officially be standing completely on our own and we will be weighing christian academy eagles um for both um you know, middle school and varsity. So um, we all know that when you start something, it's, you know, you're starting it. And mm-hmm. sometimes it's not always, that doesn't mean undefeated seasons. But I believe um, we are committed to seeing it through and we'll watch these students, you know, excel in this and, and grow. And we hope to see more winning seasons, you know, ahead You've of us. We've got some very dedicated coaches there that work we with these students. We yeah. we have been very fortunate. Um, we had Lindsay Surrency, I think she was on a few weeks ago, step in as um, AD. She's done a phenomenal job. Her heart, right. it definitely, and if you talk to her, it's you can see her heart is, it's not just about the sports. It's about, um, you know, the character development and the, the dedication, of, you know, that we try to teach the students in whatever they are doing doing their best at it and so we're excited to see you know where all of that's going to go um we added elementary choir um that has been a huge hit you know for students in the elementary to be able to get to um experience that and i believe it'll just set them up to be even more ready for when they hit you know the middle school and high school we're also adding an opportunity for the elementary students to participate in um some agricultural experience next year we were awarded one of the grants from ag south and so uh, one of our teachers will be heading that up this summer to give an opportunity for the students in elementary in that agriculture we are we are currently figuring that out um we have we have a couple of greenhouses we're going to do and we're trying to figure out uh exactly what we're going to plant um and the students in pre-k through fifth grade will get the opportunity to be involved in good what I, whatever that entails. All right. uh, I'm not a, a farmer, so I have no idea. Um, but so that's that's going to be a cool opportunity. And then we did um, STEAM this year, science, technology, engineering, and math. And our yearbook coordinator, uh, Care Jackson, Dr. Care Jackson, right. um, comes and volunteers and, and helps do that for the students. So. Speaking of that, y'all are, do y'all do have annuals? We yes. Do. Okay. Yes. We do. So yearbook day next, no, next Yearbooks. week. Yeah. Yes. So they Next do a week. very good job with that, yes. Good. Yep. Yes, that, that's been a fun outlet for the students, too, um, as well. Um, in addition to all of this, we have, over the past, I would say, three, four weeks, we've been participating in our annual fundraiser, uh, the Fun Run. It has proven to be um, so successful over the years, and we are so grateful for the support. We tried to change it up a little bit this year and do – um, the first part of the year, we had the students ask for sponsors, um, try to raise money from friends and family, and then over the past three weeks, we are we've just been focusing on the businesses here in Wayne um, Wayne County, and I believe so far we are right at fifty thousand dollars that we've been able to raise from you know the combination back for in the fall and then this one, um, which again shows the support that we've been able. Um, to have and we are just 
we can't say how grateful we are for all of that um, and just seeing the businesses step up and support um, our mission and, and what we're about. And so um, we're, we're very thankful for that. All of that fun run, um, I think Miss Rebecca knows more like as far as what all the things that um, that money goes for. We kind of tried to write some of it out just okay. so parents are aware and businesses are aware of what they're giving money for. Right. Rebecca? So it's really cool to walk through the school and see tangibly just items sitting there that um, we were able to purchase through the hard work of our families um, who've invested in the mission of the school and businesses. Um, over the past three years, we were able to purchase uh, 120 laptops for our students in third through 11th, be 12th grade next year, um, use one-to-one devices. We've purchased an internet monitoring system called GoGuardian that um, just helps with students staying on task, it increases instructional time, um, and helps with them uh, visiting safe places on the internet and making sure that we can filter out what we need to. Um, we were able to purchase iPads for our kindergarten stu- or pre-K through second grade students. Um, build a computer lab, a 35 station computer lab. We've been able to enhance our elective um, high school weight training course with equipment for that class. We were able to purchase 10 uh, tablets for our 10th grade media design graphic class. Um, and some of the things that we are looking forward to this year purchasing is to kind of pour into our lower school course and some technical equipment for them, mics, choir risers, that kind of thing. Uh, more PE equipment. We've got some Gaga Ball fanatics, and so that's one of the things we're trying to build is um, get that equipment, um, agility ladders. Um, hurdles, things like that for PE class. And one of the things I really want to emphasize is this fundraiser is not over. And if you are a business that would like to support uh, Wayne Christian Academy, you have until the 23rd. And that comes with all kind of benefits for the school year. Um, we will have a T-shirt made this summer that um, – shows our gratitude for the Wayne County sponsors um, and everybody that's been involved in that. So we will have advertisement on social media for those businesses in our yearbook. We have a huge banner displayed uh, right when you walk into the school thanking the businesses who have supported us. And so there are a lot of perks that come with it throughout the school year. But you can simply email the school or call the school and let us know that you want the sponsor. And again, all that is uh, tax deductible as well. Okay. Now, you know, this school year is about to wrap up. Mm-hmm. When will y'all begin in August? Do you know the date you start? Um, yes, our first day of school is August 9th. August 9th. Now, mm-hmm. if a person's listening out there and they've got a, a you know, children or grandchildren mm-hmm. that might they might be interested in, in enrolling at Wayne Christian Academy, how do they go about doing that? Um, the first thing that we would say is go directly to our website, which is www.wcajessup.org. Wcajessup.org. Dot org. Dot okay. org, yes. And on the um, on our website, they'll have an admissions tab. If they go on there, they'll fill out a little inquiry form, and it'll go directly to our office. And they will, and then our secretary from there will reach out to them. Okay. And we currently do have we we have a lot of classes that are full, but we currently have um, grades. We have a few openings in grades second, third, fourth. Um, maybe one or two in sixth and seventh, and then a few in high school. Um, so if there is a need to open additional classes, we will definitely, um, our school board will definitely talk about that. And if it's where we can make that happen, we will to make room. We want to make as much room as we can for the students who want to be a part of Wayne Christian Academy. Um, but there are still some openings. Um, some classes are full, but still, even at that, Um, go to the missions tab, fill in the inquiry form. And if we are full, we'll put you on a waiting list and you never know what can happen. Some, you know, due to whatever circumstance, someone could, um, you know, need to come off of, you know, their registration spot and we can open it up to someone who's on the waiting list. And that's who we're going to go and contact first, you know, after someone, you know, steps out. So I would definitely encourage them to do that. Um, You can contact the school directly, um, through, to our email, which is um, WCA, Jessup at gmail.com, or you can call us at 424-8316. Um, and one last thing I did want to mention, um, we have in the 
trying to close up the school year. We've got a lot of um, really neat activities. We usually spend the last week or so more with just doing a lot of fun stuff. You know, the students are really brain dead at that point because we've we've kind of pushed them um, academically as as far as they could go. But we've we've got a lot of activities from a talent show. Um, we have that coming up um, next week, but then a field day. Um, we we try to save all the best for last. But for our middle schoolers, for, so from sixth grade to eleventh grade. We are doing what we call our first um, youth summit, where we'll have Reggie Dabbs come in. Um, he's a very well-known um, Christian speaker. He's going to um, speak to our students. We would love to invite any student from the community that would um, like to come and be a part of that. We're going to have, they'll hear from him. We've got games. We're going to feed them lunch. I mean, we've got all kinds of things planned. So we want to throw that out there. Um, and By the way, that's yeah. on the website, too, if yes. you... Visit WCAJSEP.org and go under more and then school store. If you are interested in that, the Google form is on there to uh, complete information Mm -hmm. about your student uh, and grade level, all that. So we can get them registered for the Youth Summit. Okay. Yes. So um, with all of that being said, also one last opportunity um, maybe since this is the last thing, this is what everybody will remember. Um, but we also, our school partners um, or participates with the Georgia State Tax Credit Program. That is a program that allows you to say where your Georgia state taxes go to. You choose a school. Um to send your Georgia State taxes to. Um, it is a phenomenal program. We've been very successful, gosh, I, probably over the last five to seven years um, with that program where people, um, we all pay taxes. Like, you know, there's no way of getting out of it. We know that. But we have the opportunity and we love, I think the majority of people love to have say so in where their tax money goes. And so we can keep it right here local and um, you can, um, decide that you want that tax money to go to Wayne Christian Academy. It then goes into a scholarship fund for students and families who need additional help. Um, you know, we are not government funded in any way. So um, it does, you know, cost. We have to charge tuition um, for our students and for some families that that is a that's a huge sacrifice. Well, for all of them that attend, it is sacrifice. And so we want to make it as easy as we can for them. And so that's where that money goes. We use it. It's all used for nothing but scholarship purposes. But if you'd like more information about that, send us an email. We'll get, we'll get someone in touch with you immediately. Um, Businesses. I mean, every business that pays Georgia state taxes, they can say, I want my uh, state tax to be designated to Wayne Christian Academy and it will go directly to us. So that's definitely something we want the community to be aware of. All right. Sounds good. (laughs) I know it's a lot of information, but um, there's a lot going on at and Wayne Christian Academy. A lot going on at Wayne Christian Academy, yep. as I very well know. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much yes. to our 23-24 business sponsors who um, have faithfully supported this school year and helped us implement all those things. And if you are interested in who those sponsors are, that is also on the website. There is an Invest tab, and you can see who uh, currently is supporting WCA. Okay. All right, ladies. Well, good luck with the end of the school year. Thank you. Uh, and and uh, good luck with there were a lot of new programs beginning in August. Thank That's you. Right. Thank right. you. Y'all yes. take care. Thank you. Bob, anything else? All right. We're old famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. And it's been brought to you by First Southern Bank, Vans Barbecue, Murphy Builder Supply, and also brought to you by O'Quinn and Associates. All right, coming up soon, we're going to give away a Wild Adventure ticket voucher. And uh, that's going to have world-class rockers. All those classic rock bands, many of them from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, uh, put together a tour group. And they go around and put on major concerts. And everybody has a good time singing those classic rock and roll songs from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And world-class rockers bands will be on there. You'll see, you'll see band members from some of the biggest uh, rock bands of all times. And they will be there this Saturday night rocking and having some fun. And we're going to give away some ticket vouchers where you could be there absolutely free. 
Or if you just wanted to go to Wild Adventures Park and enjoy the park, you can do that too. We'll give those away in just a few moments right here on 105.5 FM and Jess at Big Dog Country Radio WIFO. Good morning.